Okay, so here's the story for part 12. After the my last video, took on the last gym trainer right down there. She was a battle girl with a meta type that had thunder punch, and that went fairly easily. Um, after that, I went up and took on the gym leader, he's right up here, and got completely destroyed. So I decided to retreat and try to train out my Pokemon some a little bit, which is why you see now they're all at level 13. And then I took them on again, and I started recording part this part, part 12, and halfway through I thought there's no way I'm going to win, so I stopped talking, stopped recording, and decided just to test them out. Of course I won, but I can't use it because eh, that would be no fun to watch. So I'm back, part 12, take 2, this time I'm going to beat him, I'm going to provide some supposedly entertaining commentary, and I'm going to get it on tape. So, um, I'm guessing his grandfather was Watson, which doesn't explain how this gym has moved from Mauville to Rental Bud in a supposedly completely different region, but whatever. Here's the battle. Gym 2. Take 2. Leader Alex of Rental Bud. He uses electric types. First one of which is a Luxio. Now, yes, I know I belittled it when I first picked it up, but I'm going to use the X accuracy, and you're going to see why in a second. Because this Luxio knows presumably four moves. One is double team, one is charge, which, and two of them are electric. Because Ninkata is ground, and because Alex is too stupid to switch, it's going to be a very easy battle. However, it is going to be a very lengthy battle, which is why I'm going to move through it very quickly. So, uh, seen any good movies lately? Any recommendations on how I should be doing this? I'm always welcoming comments. Either comment on this video, feel free to send me a PM. Yes, I gave him a cherry berry because eventually I knew I was going to get static. It always happens again, right after the first time. And he has a super potion also. But again, there's no way I can lose this. It's just very annoying. Which is why I am incredibly grateful that Visual Boy Advance has a speed up button. The one I've been abusing lately. Again, please, your comments are always appreciated. Feel free to send them either to the comment section of this video, or any of the other in this series, or to my p private message inbox. Of course, I've become paralyzed again. Savor the moment when the KO comes, if it ever does. Seriously, Mr. Leader, I know you have a little Pokemon button there next to the one that. Ha <laughs> ha! must have run out of PP for charge. Yeah. I wonder what his fourth attack is. I've never seen him use anything other than those three. Maybe he doesn't have one. That'd be a bit weird. Yes, the killing blow! Finally! With absolutely no damage taken whatsoever, my Ninkata is so amazingly incredible. And yet he only gains half level from that because he levels far too slowly. Now Pachirizu, unfortunately, does have other moves. He may start off with double team, but at some point he... Ah, do I have another cherry berry? No, I don't. Well, anyway, at some point soon, it should start throwing in something else. That's enough. I need to start working on HP. I th it it should soon start using something other than double team. Yeah, see, quick attack. Luckily, that doesn't do much damage. Unfortunately, it does do more damage than cut, even though I'm still hitting him. Yeah, and I'm out of PP. Luckily, I have an item that is only slightly more useful than X accuracy Ether! Hooray for useless items! 
This raid, I'm soon going to be using a much more conventional item, a super potion. And so will the gym later. Oh, why can't I just have a full restore? That would make everything so much easier. This is not a particularly entertaining battle, is it? It's basically just like a really lame boxing match or something. I have to think of something to say here. Any ideas? Wait, no, that won't work. I can't ask the audience what to say. Um, huh. So how about Heart Gold and Soul Silver? If you haven't heard, and I really couldn't believe that considering there are surely hundreds of videos on YouTube alone about them, they're the upcoming remakes of Gold and Silver on the DS. Um, I have to say that, well, everyone is really anticipating them, but I am especially not least of which because Gold was my first Pokemon game. And at the time, which was, what was it, 10 years ago, it was pretty incredible. Um, I think it's a great place for some, out of PP again. It's a great place for someone to start in the series. And, I mean, they still hold up today. I would almost certainly st still be playing my gold if not for two things. One, the battery is dead, and two, my boop sister deleted it. <sighs> After I'd beaten red. And I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, this extremely long and boring battle is dragging toward its end. And VBA has decided to start lagging for some reason. And hopefully I can get it done before the end of this video because splitting it up into parts would be sort of lame, especially considering how lame this battle is in general. So if you'll forgive me, I need to speed it up a little. Inkata would actually hit for once. Ah! First critical hit. Okay, um, who can get in the first hit? Tail, I probably can. Yes. And now Taila will get completely blown out of the water. Oh, you yeah, could have done it by that Pikachu. I'm sorry, Taila. Wow, that was surprisingly effective. This will, I'm sure, be unsurprisingly effective. Yes, there we go. Might as well see what Sfeel can do before he also gets blasted in powder. Um... Freeze, maybe? Oh no, dub. He could choose way faster. Can Sfeel take it? No way. Oh, it's, of course, it's a critical hit. I think Sfeel could have taken it. Well, anyway. Hmm. This is where it gets tricky. Let's start off with Thunder Wave. This will be very useful. And. Well, Electric is pretty useless at this point, but might as well keep him in there. He's... ow. Static is so annoying when you're going up against it. Except that I gave Electric a Cherry Berry. How oh, nice. Oops. Sorry about that. Anyway. Why couldn't I have Shockwave? <sighs> okay. I can do this. Come on, Torchic, you can do this. Thunder Punch. Should I? There's no reason not to, considering how much HP Thunder Punch did. Yes! Thank you! That was entirely too hard, of, too long of a battle. Yes! That was actually pretty, that was pretty nice. I mean, it was, <laughs> it was such a boring battle, but it's always nice to, to go after, after all that, to 
I was getting sort of worried there at the end because that Pikachu deals quite a lot of damage. And I ah, had all the switches off. Of course, now that I have Shockwave, it's probably going to be pretty useless. <laughs> Now we're going to find another double teamer like that. And hey look, I'm out of time. How convenient. Right after I be the leader. So, after I come back to you, I'll show you all the new Pokemon I got. And I'll be moving on. See you on part 13.